Hi guys, I'm Raval. Welcome back to this Codeception series. In this lesson, we are going to be learning how to set up our environment for our Codeception tests. So um, I already have Laravel 5.3 installed in my project. If you do not have it installed, please pause this video now and install Laravel. Okay, so what exactly are we going to be doing here? Well, we know we want to write unit tests. And um, in this video, we are going to be writing a unit test to see if data is actually stored in the database. Now I know that this is actually called an integration test and I know that some of you are going to say well it's not a unit test. Um, the thing is right now we are learning Codeception and I chose to do this example because I think it's a really good example and according to Codeception, according to its documentation, this test actually falls under the unit test umbrella. So I'm going to keep continuing this lesson as a unit test because that's how Codeception sees it and we are writing for Codeception. So what are we going to do? First, we're going to set up an environment that, you know, let's say we're going to create a local database. We're going to create an articles table. And just for the sake of it, we're going to populate that articles table with some data. Okay, so let's get started. So I just have every, all the steps here in a notepad document because I tend to forget these things when I'm doing these tutorials. So um, here's step one. So step one we're going to do is we're going to create our model and our migration for our table. So we're just going to copy that command and the command is php artisan make model the name of the model article and dash m which is going to be make sure you create the migration as well. So great that's done. We go to app and you can see yes we have our article model now and we go to database migrations and create articles table and here you go. So I'm just going to put two fields here. It's going to be called uh, first it's going to be a string and it's going to be title so that'll be the title of our article and table we'll have uh, the name of it's going to be content so that's going to be text so put content so that's going to be as simple as it gets for now it's absolutely fine for this example close that down the next thing we do is we're going to create a cedar for this and we go back to our notepad set up cedar okay Let's clear that so it's going to be php artisan make cedar and it's going to be articles table cedar okay so good cedar has been generated and we can take a look we have articles table cedar and once again guys i just have some code here that can go along right Paste that in there and make sure we're going to use faker. Oops, faker factory as faker, and we're going to use carbon. Okay, so um, faker, we're just going to say, okay, use it the article model, and we're going to say create the articles table, insert the title, and we're just going to have some sentence. We use faker just to generate some dummy data for that same with content we're going to use faker to generate some fa uh, some dummy paragraphs and because faker returns that as an array we're just going to implode it to make sure it goes into our text field then we're just going to use carbon now for creator that, that update to that so great so we have our cedar we have our model we have our migration so let's set up our database so um Create database and let's just call it Laravel Codeception Tutorials Create. Okay, so Laravel Codeception Tutorials. Great, we have our database created. Next thing we're going to do is go back to PHP Storm. We're going to go to our env file and we're going to make sure that it points to this new database we created. So the database name is Laravel codeception tutorials and I'm using SAMP you know for my local setup here and it's just root and with no password so um, our next step is we are going to run our migrations so clear and to run migrations it's as simple as php artisan migrate 
migration table created successfully and the rest seems to be created successfully as well so let's take a look there are code exceptions tutorials and great so there you go. So we have articles, migrations, passwords, resets. So you could ignore the rest. That's just standard Laravel stuff. So just be happy. Our articles table has been created. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do here is PHP artisan DB seed. And we're going to put in our class, which is articles table seeder. We're going to run our CEDA. Okay, so now articles. Good, so we have one entry in there. And okay, so that's done. Close that down, close that. So that is just the first step here, guys. I hope you followed along and set up your table, set up your database, set up your model, migration, and CEDA. And um, let's continue this in the next lesson.